The Road to the Kentucky Derby, presented by TwinSpires.com. Well, welcome to the Kentucky Derby. I'm Jill Byrne. Oaklawn Park has had a long history in supplying fantastic horses right here at Churchill Downs for the Kentucky Derby. Last year's winner of the Arkansas Derby, Bodie Meister, a bang up second here. Well, who could it be this year? Let's check in on the contenders. Valuable points on the line to make it here to Churchill Downs. Let's start with Falling Sky. Sam F. Davis winner, big effort that day. Followed that up with a third in the Tampa Bay Derby behind Verrazano. Now this horse, I think he's kind of an improving sort, and this looks like a good spot for him for trainer John Terranova. Trainer Ken McPeak electing to send Frack Daddy. And Frack Daddy needs to get back on track. He only has four points. They were received right here at Churchill Downs with this good second to uncaptured big race here at Churchill in the Kentucky Jockey Club. He will need something as good as, if not better than that, for the Arkansas Derby. Trainer Todd Pletcher overanalyzed what to make of him. Well, he's going to pick up a new jockey, Rafael Bejarano, with Johnny Velazquez on the injured list for a little bit. If he can return to his win in the Remsen Stakes, he fits in the Arkansas Derby. Now, he's off the board in the Gotham to Vijack, but that was his first race of the year. So which overanalyze is going to show up? If it's the one that beat Normandy Invasion in the Remsen, he will be be a force to be reckoned with. Well, it is the clash of the Derby Titans. Bob Baffert, Wayne Lucas, seven Derby wins between them. Who's going to come out on top in Arkansas? Let's look at Bob Baffert's two horses, Den's Legacy. This is the little horse that could. Third in the Rebel last time out, he always runs his race. He only has 20 points, so he'll need some extra points to make it here to Churchill Downs. But I love the way this horse just always shows up. He's not flashy, but he's always there. Well, flashy is the other horse for Bob Baffert, but zero points, War Academy. Big allowance win at Santa Anita. And uh, this horse, if he can step up off of that, he proves he likes the dirt surface. Very similar there at Oaklawn Park. I think War Academy is a horse a lot of people will be looking at. But trainer D. Wayne Lucas reunited again with the other Hall of Famer, Gary Stevens. They teamed up with winning colors in Thunder Gulch in the Kentucky Derby. Will it be Oxbow this time? One of my top horses. He's been on the top of my list since he broke his maiden at Churchill. His win in the LeCompte, an absolute runaway win down at the fairgrounds. Fantastic effort that day. Then he followed that up with a very good race. He was second to his stable mate. Will take charge. Oxbow by Awesome again. The family of Tisnow. That just says Kentucky Derby and Churchill Downs all over at Oxbow. Will it bring Dwayne Lucas, the coach, back to Churchill Downs and back to the Kentucky Derby? The Arkansas Derby on Saturday at Oaklawn Park. You can wager on the Arkansas Derby at TwinSpires.com, the official online wagering site of the Kentucky Derby.